More than 60 residents of Arlington and the surrounding towns turned out for the second meeting of the Arlington Area Renewal Project, a community initiative aimed at bringing the shine back to Arlington, as it was described during a kickoff event held at the Arlington Memorial High School on September 22nd. This second meeting saw those interested in the initiative dividing into small groups as six committees covering education, public safety, arts, history, and tourism, economic development, recreation, and town government were formed and chairpersons were announced. Jim Baker, the former commander of the Vermont State Police and a longtime Arlington resident, paid tribute to the recent state championship won by the Arlington High School girls soccer team who finished an undefeated season with a win in the state finals game Saturday, November 3rd. They set an example for the rest of the community to follow, he said, in his opening talk to the audience. Uh, we stood up and demonstrated something about class and character that other schools just can't do. That's what I saw on Saturday. And so um, this little small town and that group of young ladies had a social contract with all of us in this room. That's the way I looked at it on Saturday. And the social contract was about, um, we're going to go out there and we're going to play a game based on skill, po poise, and following the rules. We're not going to trash talk. Um, we represent Arlington. And that's what they went, went out and did. And I think it's the same social contract for me that when I was approached about coming back and working on this effort, that I thought about how do you bring the same kind of social contract to all of us? Just like those young ladies held each other accountable for what they did and what their job on the field was and what they did in practice and how hard they worked. Baker then introduced John Werner, the former Arlington soccer coach who did much to build the school's soccer program since his arrival in town as a recent college graduate in 1972. He connected the skills necessary for sports championships with the elements needed to overcome whatever challenges the town might be facing. I became Linnea. Losing is not an option. Uh, I want to make sure you understand that, and I'm not sure Aaron's girls do, but it wasn't a bad thing. <laughs> what it means is you're not going to win every game, but if you give everything you got, you're never going to lose. And, and that's what our teams do all the time. And, and that, I know, is... is We've not lost it, we just need to build it back up even more. At the end of the day, it's the people that make Arlington, Arlington great. And uh, if we've been a small part of that, then, then that's pretty significant and makes me feel pretty darn good. The crowd then broke into their committees and dispersed to nearby classrooms to discuss what they considered important in their respective areas. I know this is a personal thing, but right around me, right, right around us right now, we're one, two, three, four, four, four or five empty homes. Mm -hmm. five, mm -hmm. one, one of which is, you know, a problem. And that's scary because yeah. most of those homes are in the in the price line of somebody coming in and doing exactly what they've been doing all over time. The land's out there, but um, that would be a huge, and it doesn't take anything. You can get the boy scouts or the, you know, come in and just cut trails, and mark trails, stuff like that, as they can do for projects. Uh, volunteer, you know, their community yeah. service in high school. Yeah. I mean, there you go. They do a lot of stuff. They then returned to the Mac Performing Arts Center at the high school and heard from each of the chairmen of the committees who summarized some of the discussions and pointed out some areas worth considering. Alan Shorn, who wound up chairing the Economic Development Committee, spoke about the level of business and commerce that may be going on under the radar. Our initial meeting, I just started jotting down what businesses and what shingles I saw hanging out and whatnot, and came up with about 140 different um, business Activity Now, it could be a contractor that does electrical work that's not necessarily visible. It could be somebody that does construction work, a mason, uh, somebody that works out of their home, um, uh, home-based uh, child care, uh, cleaning services, and that kind of thing. And, and I, I was really kind of taken by the amount of um, business activity or commerce that's currently here that kind of goes unnoticed or undetected. The next meeting will be held in December. Baker said he thought things were off to a good start. 
it's what we know about Arlington um, and the surrounding area. There's people that love the town. I mean, again, we had another 50, 60 people here tonight. You know, they came back out. They all participated in the conversations around the committees. And um, I'm looking forward to these ideas coming out of the committees and then starting to figure out how we can take those ideas and put them into uh, practice. For the GNET TV News Project, I'm Andrew McKeever.